a mystery hangs over this hen house in West Milton. The cast of characters is a funny looking bunch. They're called silky chickens because of their silk like feathers. They're bred for pets and show animals, and these leading ladies have names plucked right off a Hollywood marquee. That's Phyllis Quiller, <laughs> named after Phyllis Diller. Daryl Henna instead of Daryl Hanna. That's Feather Locklear. A little barn humor, says owner Bob Seal. <laughs> I have five pages of names to use in the future. Yes, and we call the farm Featherly Hills because all the stars are at Featherly Hills. But no laughing matter. The leading men have gone missing. Cluck Norris, Cluck Gable, and Michael Cluck Duncan are nowhere to be found. The top prize winning roosters disappeared 10 days ago at the Ohio National Poultry Show. Event organizers and Bob are both a bit sheepish in calling it an outright foul theft. Our fondest hope at this moment, the thing we're praying for daily, is that whoever sees this, like I said, took the birds in all innocence, wanting to protect them, worried that they were being left behind or that somebody wasn't going to claim them, and they didn't want them left there. No one is praying harder for their safe return than eight-year-old Julia Newman. Cluck Gable is her first showbird, and she's heartbroken he's gone. Well, I always pray that the person that has them will treat them well and that they will please return them. And I keep reminding myself that God, um, God says, do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Everyone is hoping for a happy ending here at Featherly Farms and most importantly, hoping that a little girl is reunited with her best friend. Please treat them well and please return them because we miss them with all our hearts.